Welcome back. It's time to catch up with Shannon. Now, this morning, before you got here, I went through your social, I grabbed some photos, and now you have to... This is your life. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start with some photos, and then you just talk me through them. Okay, first one. Oh, my. <laughs> Don't you I, love that hairdo? I had to. I loved it. I was probably 14, no, 14 there, maybe? Hey, that was the style then. It's, it no, the I style. love it. And when you posted it, you posted about Top Gun Maverick or something, yes. so I was like... <laughs> Throw back to the original oh, Top Gun. Oh my goodness gracious. Like that hair oh, has its own oh, area code. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Yeah. So this is with a, a bunch of girlfriends. We were um, downtown Springfield here. They had a, the a play down oh. there. I can't remember which one it was, but. You know, yeah, I read it this morning and now I can't remember. my girlfriend Mitzi. Oh good, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, it so, looks so fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Oh, uh, good, oh, who's this? Oh, this is my baby Bella. My baby Bella, she's so sweet. What kind of dog she's is that? She's so loyal. She is a miniature schnauzer, but she's really kind of big for miniature schnauzer. Oh, really? Yes. We that got her face. here in Springfield. Yeah. Oh, I love she's that She's got face. a little brother that's Baxter. He's black. Oh. And uh, they are just... Are they best friends? They're best friends. Oh. She's attached to him. That makes me so she's happy. She's attached to him. Oh, that's my sister Judy. <gasps> oh! Yeah. So this is my older sister Judy. That's we were in Florida at this time. Oh, I love Florida. She lives in Florida. In Tampa. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. Oh, Tampa's great. Yeah. So. Does um, she love living there? She does. She's. Uh, we're trying to get her to move back home, though. Move home. Move, but move the winters family. in Tampa and Indiana are different. Yes, <laughs> I know. But the summers are terrible in Florida. Like unless you. Which she does have a pool, so. Oh, she's, she's, she's fine. She's got it, yeah. She's got it made, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, and that's my, so that's my son and my dad. Oh. So that's Charlie, my dad. Your son's and tall. my son, Robbie. Yeah, Robert, or Robert. Rob. He goes by Rob. Oh, he goes by Rob now. He goes by Rob. He's so mature now. He's so mature, <laughs> yeah. That's us again at Christmas time. Now, did you yeah. say, is he married now or is he? He is engaged. Engaged, okay. Yeah, he lives in Baltimore, Maryland now. Wow. Yeah, so. Do you get to talk to him very often? Baby. Oh, a couple times a week, oh, probably. Oh, that's good. Which, you know, for for a mama, that's, you know. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> but I'm good with that. That's my Aunt Deb and my cousin Christy and myself. We were taking a girl's trip. We were, um... Golly, Anna Maria Island, I think, in that in that uh, photo there. So oh, I love having it. some lunch, enjoying our. Time. I just thought I was looking through it like I like vacation type pics or something uh -huh. that looks like different that uh -huh. you've been. Yeah. That would have a story. Yeah. Do you have a favorite vacation place that you've been? Favorite vacation place. One of my favorite places to go for vacation is probably Apalachicola, which is in Florida. Where, what, Unbelievable. That sounds familiar, that. It's but in the I don't... Panhandle. Okay. So it's near St. George Island, okay. which is beautiful. Is it near Destin ever at all? Go... No. No. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it'd be okay. similar. I mean, kind of. It'd be a little bit of a drive. Okay. But cute little town, little mm. shops, lots of little places to eat. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll have to check that out. You do need to check that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This next one. Oh wait, we got we have something from director Dan. Oh, I love this. Okay, look right over there. Look right side there. Side by side. Side by side. This makes me so happy. Now if I just do this a little bit, see? Get the hair up high. Hair up high. Like this. Give the like wings. <laughs> Thank you, director Dan. That was amazing. Uh, anytime we can do a side by side, I'm oh, all for yeah. it. Oh yeah, serious. Now what I'll have to find Long is. Time ago. I can't believe I'm, I'm admitting this. I tell a lot of stuff on this show. But when my brothers and I were younger, we liked New Kids on the Block. Yeah. And Joey McIntyre had curly hair. Right. My brothers and I all got perms <laughs> to have the curly hair like Joey McIntyre. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta now, find those photos, it's embarrassing. You gotta bring that in now. It's embarrassing. Uh, do we have time for my design dilemma now or should we wait? Okay, good, yeah. okay. Now here's the thing, don't show it yet. Here's my dilemma. I did show you during the commercial. I posted this last night on my social media. I have a beautiful covered porch with rough timber with some shiplap. Now, I have so many ideas of what to do with it. I just don't want to ruin it, but I want to enhance the beauty. Yeah. So we're going to show the photo. Here's the covered porch with four stain options below. Mm -hmm. Now here's, I'll tell you, Shannon, just real quickly. I was thinking of whitewashing the shiplap 
because my uh, my house is black and white. The rest of right. it's white. Right. Sh whitewashing the shiplap and then staining like the rough timbers mm -hmm. one of those four colors. Mm -hmm. Now your expert advice go. Oh, so we we kind of chatted about that. I th I think you need to stain it all. The whole thing. The whole thing. I Just, wouldn't whitewash it. it okay. You, it needs to be all one piece there, I think. Okay, so like you don't think I, I the... I would separate the shiplap from the timber. See, because I was thinking it needed separation. Mm-mm. Okay. okay. Now, I don't know if you can... you're going to look like you just got this roof, you the, know? Oh, I see. Okay. See what I'm saying? Do you think staining it will make it feel uh, more enclosed? No. Okay. No. Now, of those four colors, did you see that? I'll give you... I would do dark. Dark? Okay, I'm going to show you the picture really fast. Yeah. Of those, mm -hmm. so my options were golden oak, weathered oak, canyon brown, or early American. Early American. Okay, you're voting for the darkest one. I'm voting for the <laughs> darkest one. And I'm like nervous about it, so nervous. I just don't okay. know what to do. Go for it. Here's the thing, because once you a piece, that's what you so stain something and then kind of hang it up there. Okay. And live live with it for a couple of days. I will do that. I did save some extra pieces below yeah. my deck. I just did little little swatches like that. Yeah. But I think I need to. A, a bigger piece yeah. and then set it up in the space. Yes. Because I'm just so nervous you're doing the wrong it. thing. Yeah. I don't, because once you do that, you know, you can't, you can't, can't go back. You can't unstain it. No. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to sand it. Are you kidding me? There's no way. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, I, I admire all those people who refinish old homes and go through all the layers of varnish and stain yes. to get to the original wood oh, yeah. to then restain it a new right. color. I'm like, right. I ain't got that time. No. I don't even want to have to deal with all, that. It's, it's not fun. It is not, not fun at all. Yeah. Okay, well, I've gotten my expert interior designer to give me <laughs> her opinion. I did post it on my Jeremy Rabe um, social media, Facebook and Instagram. I love your opinion. I had gotten so many great, like, <laughs> here's what I love about people. They're opinionated. Oh, yeah. And I love your opinions. They'll and I got you. lots of great yes. options. Yes. And then, you know, I like the people, too, who are like, how could you do that? Why would you do that? I'm like, well, I'm just weighing options here, guys. Well, at the end of the day, you need to do what you love. Yes, and it I want to love it. Doesn't matter what everybody's. Opinion That's true, is. but you know who else has a gorgeous house and is a great designer is Natalie Nunn. Oh, well, there you no, go. No, I just I, I do what I love. That's the problem. That's beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. Natalie, what do you think about my design dilemma? I, she's the expert. You go with that. Okay. Well, I know. I'm I like how he her. said, "I love your opinion," but he never said if he was going to take it. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but although when I was buying and picking out all of my furniture, my fabrics and stuff, she was right there because I would say, okay, I like these. Mm -hmm. And then she would help me narrow it down to what all was cohesive for my living room. Yeah, there you go. And I'm very excited because it should be arriving next month. It's oh, going to be so beautiful. That's exciting. I'm so excited. Your dog bite Lowe's. Oh, my dog. Oh, my gosh, oh, Natalie. Oh, those were so cute. I saw the... I, you, Do you see the fabric? Yeah. Yes. I'm so excited about my dog pillows. Love them. 